There are a lot of really great things that come along with having a service dog, but there's also some kind of weird things that happen too. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk to you about the pros and cons of having a service dog. So all of this is just from my personal experience. Obviously your experience is gonna vary. We're gonna start with pros. I would say the number one thing, of course, is that therapy gives me freedom. It's awesome to be able to know that I can go and do things and I don't have to feel insecure about, you know, what if something happens? You know, is it gonna be weird if, if I start having a panic attack or if I dissociate? Obviously it's still kind of strange if you're out in public and that happens, but it really helps to know that I have somebody there to like, you know, help bring me back to earth really quickly. So it doesn't feel as lonely or as alone and it doesn't feel as scary. So along with that also comes safety. I know Fairby's not gonna like do anything to anybody. <laughs> But it makes me feel really safe to know that she's standing behind me and that I can tell if somebody comes up behind me, she does a blocking task for me. So I like that a lot. It just makes me feel safe. Once again, that's not anything that's really actually keeping me safe. I know that, like I know that she's not gonna do anything to anybody, but just knowing that she's behind me and that I can see if her tail starts to move or whatever really matters a lot to me. So freedom and safety are my number one pros. Another great thing about having a service dog is she helps me avoid triggers. So she helps me whenever she knows that I'm starting to get irritated or if she can tell that I'm starting to like, like I said a minute ago, dissociate, she'll start to touch me and you know get my attention and get me to refocus and focus on her instead. So that's really awesome. It's also nice just to know if I'm in a situation that I don't want to be in or that's starting to get uncomfortable, for some reason, even if um, it's not to the point where Faraby can tell I'm uncomfortable, if I just know like this is gonna go bad, I can use her as an excuse to get out of stuff. Um, so that's awesome. You know, if you need to walk away from a conversation or whatever, it's really cool just to know like, hey, uh, my dog needs to go out. And a subtle cue that I can use for her for that is she will alert to me whenever I scratch because she has a self-harm behavior interruption. So if I need her to interrupt something, then I can just subtly like, you know, scratch. Um, and she'll start making a big deal, you know, about it. She'll scratch me and, or paw at me, whatever, I call it scratching, but technically she's just like pawing me and then if I don't respond to that, she'll nudge and then if I don't respond to that, she'll jump. So it's awesome because I can use that, you know, to get myself out of stuff if I know that something's going south and I'm just like, mm, I need to go. So since having my service dog, I've actually gotten out a lot more than I normally would have. And I think this is a pro because it's made me feel like I need to get out and expose her to things. So I'm constantly looking for things that would be a good training experience for us. So for me, that's a pro because I feel like she's, she hasn't really encouraged me, but just knowing that I have got to train her, you know, it's on me and I've got to expose her to stuff. So for me, that's a pro because it's made me feel like I need to get out. It's made me actually get out. <laughs> so I think that's an awesome pro. Now we're gonna move on to cons. I think the number one con is people stare at you and it is uncomfortable and it's intimidating if you're not used to that. At this point, I'm a lot more used to it, so it's not nearly as upsetting or scary as it was at first, but at first, it's very, very upsetting. People take pictures of you, or try to take videos, or they'll be on FaceTime. Like, I've experienced this quite a few times. People will be on FaceTime places, and then they like turn it around and like want whoever they're on the phone with to like see, and then there's the person who's standing there in front of you. Oh my God, dog! And then the person on the phone, like, you know, making a big deal too. Honestly, okay, at this point, it really depends on the day for me. Like for the most part, it's not as upsetting as it was. It's, it's still awkward, but at the same time, like I, I have a lot of more confidence in therapy at this point because, you know, we've been doing this a longer time than, you know, than before, obviously time has passed. So even though it's still annoying sometimes, I'm also still able to take it with a, you know, take it with a grain of salt, so to speak, and say, okay, I know people are excited to see a dog. That is just part of having a dog with you is people are gonna look and they're gonna be excited, especially if it's, you know, a place a dog wouldn't normally be. So for the most part, it's not a big deal anymore when people do that, um, just because her focus has gotten a lot better. And I've kind of come to expect, like obviously if we pass people, they're probably gonna say something. <laughs> And if they don't, then, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, no one said anything cool. But it is kind of, you know, it can be annoying. And depending on your personality type, you know, it might be more or less annoying for you. Personally, I just 
find it to be like part of life now. Like I, I expect, I just, I expect that people are gonna look. So along with people taking photos of your dog that are kind of, you know, unwanted by you, the other con that goes along with that is obviously you're in the picture because your dog is close to you. And depending on, you know, how you feel, <laughs> you might not look exactly the best and you might not want your picture on the internet or wherever they're sending it. So that goes along with people staring and just coming up to you and trying to strike up a conversation about their dog, which like I said, I'm not necessarily saying this is cons. This is just stuff that will slow you down. And for the most part, I'm talkative, obviously. You guys know I like to talk. So it's not a huge deal, but sometimes it is because sometimes I need to be somewhere. Like sometimes we go to the grocery store on our lunch break and you know, I have obligations. I've got to get back and I don't want to be rude to people and be like, oh really? So you want to tell me about your dog? Well, I'm busy. Sorry. It, it kind of puts you in a, a weird place basically. So another thing that is kind of a con is people will try to come up and talk to your dog or either touch your dog. I've not had adults actually try to touch her, but I have had kids like try to come near her before. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. So situations that I feel like happen more with us are people will try to talk to her and tell her like, oh, aren't you cute? Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh, hey, sweetie. And stuff like that to her. And of course, she's adorable. And I know they want to talk to her, but it's kind of awkward. Um, at first, especially, it was really awkward because I had to be like, no, she has to focus. Now, I honestly can just say, oh, thank you. And like, we'll keep walking. And she doesn't even pay attention to people anymore. So. That's where we are now. Obviously, whenever she was younger and we were first starting this, it was like upsetting because she would be like, oh, hi, too, because <laughs> she didn't know. But now she does know, so it's a lot easier on that. But it is still awkward because, you know, it's just awkward. Another con is some people can be angry about you having a dog somewhere. I've only experienced this one time, but I know this is something that happens. And also, you can have access issues. So if you want to go somewhere, someone might try to tell you, well, you can't come in because you have a dog with you. Some people don't know the law. Some people think you need to have like a registration, which you don't in the US. I have not had this experience, um, so I can't say like how it went. So that can be kind of a con. If you have someone being hateful to you, like we had somebody yell like clear across Walmart <laughs> to like say that I shouldn't have my dog in the store or something. And I don't remember exactly what happened. I'll link the video to it though up here for you guys because she like yelled at us. And also sometimes people will get angry if you won't let them pet your dog or if you won't let them have a picture of your dog. Sometimes people will get mad and be like, well, why not? And then they'll wanna, you know, be a little bit of an attitude with you on that. Once again, I've not experienced anyone who was really, really angry about it. This is something that everyone who has a service dog experiences. You have to actually kind of pre-plan a little bit differently than you would if you were just leaving on your own. You have to make sure that, you know, they have done their business outside before you go. It can be, you know, a little bit tedious, like if you had things you need to do, but your dog for some reason has an upset stomach, like, you know, you will have to change your plans, obviously. And then depending on your weather, where you are, you know, you may need to take extra time to do things like put on your dog's shoes, their coat, their sunglasses. If they have really short hair, they might need sunscreen, you know, just extra stuff that you wouldn't have to normally do if you weren't having a dog with you. Another con for us was at first, whenever I started taking therapy places and I was kind of in that, I think we're ready, but I'm not quite sure in that phase is I felt really scared and intimidated. And so I didn't have the confidence in myself yet or in her yet for that matter. And so it was intimidating. I hope you guys have enjoyed our pros and cons list. Like I said, this is specific just for our team and our experience. Your experience might be different. Leave a comment, let me know your pros. That would be a fun thing to share. Also, uh, I'll link a video up here for you guys. I'll link something service dog training related here and a subscribe button up here. And we will see you soon. Bye guys.